up, you guys? It's been a hot minute since I have been on here recording, and I've been listening to Savannah Sharp on her YouTube, and she's just got me so inspired to just pick my camera back up, hit the record button, and start recording again so I can get some content out for you guys. So, here I am. So, I just finished up at the gym. I did some abs and cardio today, um, and we are watching my videos for a while, um, you know that I have to go I just haven't been feeling great lately, and I always talk about cutting back on cash I'm going to do it, and then it lasts maybe like half a day, and then I give up. Well, I <laughs> looked at the caffeine content of some of the drinks I was drinking recently, and I'm drinking, what is drinking, anywhere from like 12 to 15 cups of coffee a day, and I'm still not feeling great. So, I'm going to do it so I've decided to cut back. Uh, today is day four of my cut back and I've pretty much just had like a single cup of coffee, like just regular coffee every day. Plus I think my BCAAs have like 60 milligrams of caffeine in them. And then I think I had a Coke Zero yesterday, which has a little bit of caffeine in it. But that's pretty much what I'm down to right now. So I'm getting like a two third caffeinated Americano right now. Um, I'm doing it this time, seeing how I feel. So I started out, I felt like shit the first day. <laughs> I woke up and had the worst headache. I literally felt like I had the flu. I had like body aches, headache, whatever. Finally broke down, had a cup of coffee, and it made me feel so, so much better. So headaches are starting to get better. Body aches, well, I'm so sore. I've been super sore, but recovery, I guess, wasn't been great. So anyways, I have so much more to share with you guys, but I just wanted to hop on and start recording. We finally have some decent enough weather, so I'm gonna take these puppers for a walk because they've been kind of cooped up. And then check this out. I planted some cute little flowers in our front bed. Mowed the grass yesterday. It's starting to come together. Alright, I just wanted to show you all this cute little outfit. So I bought this while I was at the Arnold Sports Festival. I think it's from the Free Spirit outlet. But like, these shorts are so comfy. It look good on the booty. And this top, there is no padding in it. And it is so supportive and so cute. I'm just going to have to buy me some more. A poor little ball goes, Theo, say hi. Say hello. They're going crazy because I fertilized and they can't go outside. Grace, are you upset with mom? Are you upset that you don't get to go outside? Huh? I know. Mommy's so terrible. So also back in February, I think it was February 3rd, I went, which is three weeks post-show, I went to a place and got a DEXA scan. It's called DEXA Fit League City. Um, I heard about it through a friend on Instagram and I've been wanting to get a DEXA scan forever because I'm just, I'm a numbers person. I love to have the data to look at. So I checked them out back on February 3rd and then I followed up, scheduled a follow-up appointment, um, which I just had last Friday on March 17th. So it was about six weeks after. And I have my little report here. I will show you guys. I'll probably try and put little screenshots up here for you. Um, but I got the results back from this. And so in that six weeks, I put on, my body score went from an A to an A negative, which is still like way better than most people my age. Um, my total body mass went from 140 pounds to 148 pounds. So I put on about eight pounds of body mass in a six week period. However, my lean mass went from 109 to 113 pounds. So four or half of those um, pounds of my total mass came from lean mass, which is freaking phenomenal because my goal right now is to be putting on muscle. And I have been like, I've put on a total now of about 14 pounds since um, my competition, which was January 4th. Today is March 22nd. So not a terrible amount. I mean, it seems like a lot to some people, but I don't let anyone tell me you can only gain X amount of pounds when you're away from the stage, yada, yada, because you're gonna have to put on body fat to grow your muscle and the kind of muscle I need to grow, my body fat's gonna increase a little bit. So not too worried about it. And my visceral fat only went from 0.3 to 0.5. So again, not really worried about it. And my bone score or my T score went from a two to a 2.1. So that improved with the increase in food and increase in lifting. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm feeling really good overall. I'm still fatigued, but my lifts are feeling so much better. Um, and I was actually just telling a friend this earlier, like 
I notice this pattern with myself where I start, like I'm feeling bad, so I start doing these things to make me feel better. I start journaling, I start filling my body with the good things that it needs and staying on a schedule, getting my lifts in, getting my cardio in, and I feel fantastic. And then I stop doing those things. I'm like, I don't, I don't feel bad, so I don't really have anything to journal about. So I stopped journaling, I stopped doing these things. And I've written this even in my journal so many times. Like I noticed this pattern where when I stop doing these things, I start feeling bad. And then I think something else is causing me to feel bad, but it's really just that I stopped doing the things that make me feel good. So um, I have got myself a little morning. I started by making a whole new schedule for my day, but my biggest uh, thing right now is just focusing on my morning routine. So I have a morning routine where I get up, I feed my dogs and make my decaf coffee and I journal for about 30 minutes. And then I hop over to my office and either do my cardio or do some stretching um, for about 30 minutes and then make breakfast, get ready for the gym and get to the gym by 8.30 in the morning. Um, that's kind of what it is now. I'm gonna have to like change it up a little bit here and there because I do want to, especially now that it's getting warmer out, start incorporating the morning sunlight. Um, so I might start waking up like 20 minutes earlier, maybe. <laughs> um, and adding walking the dogs into that. Um, cause right now I'm walking them in the afternoon, but I know the morning sunlight is good for you. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I will be back on later to share some more with you guys, but that's just some rambly stuff I wanted to chat with you about this week. All right, you guys. <laughs> Excuse my tired face. I just woke up from a nap. Um, that was very much needed and very much interrupted. That's another story for another day. But I just wanted to jump on real quick. I was going to wait till tomorrow morning to share this with you guys um, when I actually made the deal that I make. But instead, I decided to just jump on and share this with you now since it was on my mind. So I just wanted to share with you a couple of things I've been doing in the mornings. So first of all, if you guys have followed me at all, um, you know that I love my coffee, like I spoke about earlier in this video. Um, and part of my morning routine since I was in high school was to wake up and first thing have a cup of coffee. So since I'm decreasing my caffeine and also trying to um, start my caffeine intake later in the day, what I've been doing is just making a cup of classic decaf coffee in the morning. And then I add actually, let me get to my refrigerator here. <laughs> you can see the line from me sleeping. I have been doing walnut milk. I love walnuts, but they're so high in fat and consuming them like that just doesn't make sense to me. So I saw this, it's actually cheaper than other nut milks and the macros in it are not terrible. So I've been drinking a quarter of a cup of this and my cup of coffee along with two servings of this sugar-free um, it's a coconut cream flavor, super delicious. Um, and that's my morning coffee that I do while I'm like journaling or whatever. And then I make my athletic greens drink. So my powder's in this container I keep in the fridge. But in that, I, I figured I'd flip this around. So that's for later. <laughs> I have my athletic greens bottle. I fill it with 12 ounces of water. And then I put a scoop of those greens I just showed you and then I use this vitamin D3 and K2, um, two drops of this. And then, so something I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about later, but I also add iodine. I think it's two drops of this one. And then a zinc supplement is four servings of this one. And then I eat two Brazil nuts every day, not necessarily in the morning, but that is a good source of selenium um, and based off what I've just showed you, you probably can figure out if you know much about this that I have a little bit of a low thyroid issue. So I'm trying to boost that naturally um, with some selenium, zinc, and iodine. And then this is just uh, the Athletic Greens powder and this is just kind of like my general multivitamin. And then I also take in the mornings, I'll show you this one because it is Wednesday today. In the mornings, I take a little turmeric supplement um, to help because I was having some like joint pain and inflammation. And then that is my lovely Zoloft, which I actually want to share a little bit more about later. 
I wanted to chat to y'all a little about my thyroid. So back in January, I went to the NPC Women's Workshop and Celeste Rainsturk had her podcast party. And at her podcast party, I won a free giveaway. And that was with um, Adam Atkinson, the coach of See You Later Leaner. And he was giving away some lab work. And then once I got the lab work done, he reviewed it with me and made some recommendations for some supplements. So after I competed January 14th, so I was like, Oh Lord, I suck at math. I think about eight weeks post-show when I got my blood work done, but it was also 20 days from my cycle because I did get my cycle back in February. So we got some blood work done and surprisingly enough, being that close to when I competed, um, my blood work looked really good. Um, the only thing that was even, none of it was really concerning actually. My thyroid was just a little bit underactive. My T3 was low, I think. Um, and then also my testosterone was just a tiny bit low, which that one he said, don't even mess with, not concerning at all, unless you're deciding to jump back into prep, in which case um, he would recommend um, starting me on some supplements for that, but that's neither here nor there because I'm not gonna start those. The only thing was my thyroid, um, because I've been struggling with things like feeling a little bit dizzy, my fatigue has been super bad, and stuff like that. <laughs> Those kind of things. Um, I decided to go ahead and take his advice and start on some supplements for that. So he recommended a couple of different things, gave me a couple of options. One being just starting an iodine, a zinc, and a selenium supplement, which I showed you. I obviously decided to go with that there. Um, just because it was so minorly low that I didn't want to like jump into something super potent and cause any other issues or whatnot. Um, but also he recommended some other thyroid boosting supplements that I could take. Of course, I'm gonna get some follow-up blood work, blood work after I've been taking this for a couple months and see what has happened with just taking the natural supplements. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing, if you've watched any of my videos from way back when I first started my YouTube channel, um, I talked a lot about my mental health and that. and Back in February of 2019, I was diagnosed with bipolar type two um, and had been being treated for that. Um, I was in a, I got all the way up to, what month, what year was that? I suck at dates. March of 2021, I um, went into a partial hospitalization program. I was still being treated for that. I was on many like, antipsychotics, mood stabilizers, antidepressants. I was on, I think three medications and they were constantly changing because they would either like increase my SI, make me super duper tired. Like I was having all kinds of reactions to them, not fun at all. So when I got into that partial hospitalization program, I actually found a psychiatrist there who told me she didn't really think I had bipolar type two. However, she continued treating me for that. Um, so I was still just like doped up on all these medications and feeling like crap all the time. Fast forward to the end of last year, no, middle of last year, the psychiatrist I was seeing um, at that time, I told her, I was like, I feel like absolute horseshit all the time. I'm literally like falling asleep, standing up in the middle of the day. Like I cannot continue doing this. And I told her I wanted to start weaning off all of my medications. Um, and so uh, she was fine with that. We weaned off my medications and she was like, I'm here to help you if you need help. And that was kind of that. So I was off all my medications for a couple of months and started struggling again really bad. Um, so I went to a primary care provider and she referred me to a new psychiatrist. I started seeing this psychiatrist, finally listened to me. And he has been treating me for premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Um, so kind of essentially really bad PMS. Um, I won't go into all the details on there, but like that's what he's been treating me for. So I've been taking Zoloft once a day, just that one medication. And I have noticed a huge change y'all. Like even like my mom will tells me all the time, like she's like, you're just in so much better spirits. Like you're not having all those down moods and like other family members and stuff telling me the same thing. Like you seem to be doing a lot better and yada 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 so it's good to see that on the app like people are actually noticing as well um so that's been fantastic i don't feel doped up all the time however i am struggling severely with my fatigue 
which is why I have decided to cut back on my caffeine intake. So I was drinking, like I would get up and drink sometimes decaf in the morning, sometimes half calf, sometimes full calf, um, one to two cups of coffee in the morning. And then I would on the way to the gym, go get a nitro cold brew. And then later in the day, have another nitro cold brew. And then sometimes I would pop in at my parents and have a cup of coffee with them. And I was just drinking gratuitous amounts of caffeine. So as I mentioned earlier, I am finally actually cutting back on my caffeine intake. Um, today is day four, I believe, and I'm down to like essentially a cup of coffee a day um, is what it comes out to. And I'm still drinking coffee, but mostly decaf. So like, I'll just make a decaf. I have, I have an instant decaf as well as the decaf for my pot over there um, that I just showed y'all. So drinking lots of that still. Of course, drinking tons of water. I drink at least a gallon of water a day. So that was another thing I wanted to share with y'all. And then, what's up you guys? It is now Thursday, March 23rd, and I have almost completed day two of my morning routine. Um, it is 7.43 right now. I am a little bit behind today. I usually try and leave by 8.15 to go to the gym. However, um, I decided to clean my dog's ears because he kept flopping his head around and change the sheets on my bed this morning. So that took a little extra time, but I'm making breakfast now. I'm gonna eat breakfast and then head to the gym, but I just wanted to hop on, update you guys with that and show y'all a little of how I mix up my uh, my greens in the morning. All right, so I just fill her up with about 12 ounces of water. And then I have this my greens. I'm almost empty. They should be delivered soon. I just keep them in the fridge to keep them a little more fresh. So I do a scoop of my greens. I always try and put the wrong lid on. And then one little drop of my vitamin D3 K2. Two drops of my iodine. And four servings of my zinc. Not four servings, four pumps. And then I shake her all up and she's ready to drink. Also, I just wanted to show you guys, I have the most awesome refrigerator. So this is a um, auto fill pitcher. So we have a beverage center in our fridge. So you can do your normal water there, or you put this pitcher here, and when you close the refrigerator, it automatically refills. I figured while I was doing all this recording, I would just show you all my breakfast. So I have uh, four servings of egg whites with a half a serving of reduced fat feta, some sun-dried tomatoes, some super greens, and seasonings, and then cream of wheat with cinnamon, flaxseed, and banana. My greens. Also, these flowers I bought like over a week ago. If y'all aren't buying your flowers at Costco, start doing it. These last like more than two weeks. And when some of the flowers start to die, I just transfer the good ones to a smaller base and put it over here. So I always have the most beautiful flowers in my kitchen. They last forever. Just got my athletic greens package in the mail and I just kind of wanted to show y'all all these wonderful things. It's very clean, it's vegan. I do track it. It's got like five or six grams of carbs. Hard to see here, but all these lovely vitamins. So I did stop taking my multivitamin. I just need to find me a good omega-3 to take. What's up you guys? Excuse my wild hair. It has been a rough couple of days, um, but I just wanted to jump on, chat with you a little more because I made a commitment to get a vlog out this week. So I had been on call Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Normally, like if by Thursday noontime, I don't get called out, I'm not going to get called out because then I'm going to have to get paid off call pay, which then, you know, they got to pay me more. So whatever. Anyways, they called me Tuesday, Thursday afternoon and we're like, hey, we have a case for you, um, but we don't have an OR time yet. And I was like, cool, I'm on standby. 
but I didn't want to fly out to Dallas and be stuck in Dallas and then them be like, oh, it's not till tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. So I was just kind of hanging out and whatever. Finally figured out, oh, our time is going to be Friday morning. So they have to pay me my off call pay, which anyways, um, so overtimes for like 0400 Friday morning. So I'm like, I'll just take the latest flight out to, uh, to Dallas and get there at like 11. And then hopefully wheels up time will be like soon after that for our medical transport. And that was a whole mess. Cause like there was plane issues and there was weather issues and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, super long night. I was up from 6, 6.30 on Thursday morning all the way until about 7.30 Friday night last night. Today's Saturday. Um, that being said, I had the best sleep of my life ever. Um, it was a really good time. I just want to share that with y'all. It's Saturday now. I crushed my leg workout this morning. I am meeting my friend and her kiddos at the park right now because it is a gorgeous day. Um, and then... I'm making a massage this afternoon. I'll keep y'all posted. What's up, YouTube? It is Sunday, March something. I don't even know the day anymore. However, I just wanted to come wrap up this video. I Here's just, I excuse me, Siri. I just finished up some cardio, nice and sweaty. Normally I do it in the morning, but we're a little out of routine because my husband finally came home. He got in at two o'clock in the morning. Interrupted my sleep, so my routine is a little off. But I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to come on and finish up this video. I'm going to show y'all a little snack because I am trying a new protein powder. All right. So, Ghost is one of my favorite vegan protein powders. I just prefer, prefer, prefer vegan overweight protein normally. And they just came out with a new Cinnabon flavor. So, I'm going to try it out today. I haven't even opened it yet. Brand new. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this. Vanilla Greek yogurt I get at Aldi. The macros in this are unbeatable. Only four grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein per serving and two grams of fat. So I'm gonna mix this up for a nice high protein snack and let y'all know how it is. All right, so I did a half a scoop of this protein in my, <laughs> I cannot think. Half a scoop of protein powder in my yogurt. It's like nice and thick and yummy and delicious and so, so good. Mm. Anyways, like I was saying earlier in this video, I just wanted to get back in the routine of vlogging a little bit for you guys. Sometimes when you come out of a competition prep, you get a little lost. You're like, wait, what now? <laughs> so I've been kind of finding my way again and I'm just ready to really make the best of this improvement season. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell notification so that you get updates when I come out with new content. And if there's anything you'd like me to share with you, just drop it down below in the comments. And I will catch y'all guys next week.